Hey guys, what's up? It's once again, it is mp4podcast.com. Built a brand new setup for capturing iOS and Android gameplay over HDMI so I can play the games and hear the audio while I'm playing it. Uh, so if you just want to take a look at these um, apps, well this really is an app, it's a bookmark. Uh, free my apps, it's a cool, you may want to just download it. You download a couple apps, you get some credit, uh, Amazon, um, I think you get iTunes credit and uh, Xbox credit. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is a swipe, and then you're going to see the delay on the computer. Okay, so here we go. So that's a problem. So if I just had the iPad going directly into the Elgato, so here is the HDMI adapter, right? And here, this gray cable, the one I'm tapping on. That's the uh, actually the Nintendo Wii U, Wii U HDMI cable. If I just stuck that into the Elgato, that's that black box right there. Um, and I put headphones in right over here, I would hear an audio delay. Um, also, it's kind of hard to play with an audio delay and so on, especially when you're hearing your, your voice back and so on. Um, so anyway, what I do is I put it in this box right here. Here is that HDMI cable. Um, this box is called JTech Digital, and uh, there's another box called I think it's View HD or HD View. It's the same exact box, same switches. It's exactly the same. Um, this one was just a couple bucks cheaper, so I bought this one on Amazon. Uh, the other ones on Amazon as well. Uh, but what it does, it breaks it down into component: red, blue, and green. Now this black cable is composite audio. Um, they're red and white. The, the the difference between this and a regular um, composite cable, this one has this input. So you stick this input into here. And here is that, this is the same cable as this one right here. Um, and they just, I, you know, make these cable uh, use these cables. I guess uh, for, it's less room in the box, and if they want to keep the size down or whatever. Um, so splitters. The top red one and the top uh, white one. Those go into the Elgato right here. The bottom red one. Now I didn't have another white cable, so I just used the yellow. Doesn't matter what colors they really are, as long as you put them in the right place. But uh, that's why you use colored cables because it's easy to know where you're putting cables in. Um, that goes in the back of the stereo system right there. So when I um, need to play a game, I you know just take these cheap iPhone headsets right over here, and that's what I listen to while I'm playing the game. All right. Um, if you didn't have a stereo system, uh, you could use a Behringer 302. Um, now, if you're using the Behringer for mixing and doing all that stuff, you may want to get two Behringers um, for that purpose. If you just want to use one just to hear the audio while you're playing it, um, because I'm using this. Because you could put uh, game audio in here and then put uh, headphones in right here and just listen to it right here. It's small, so I don't know. You could probably get a stereo system. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, so let me tell you how to do commentary and you know when you're talking and playing games so let's talk about that for a second um, now right now this uh, sound mixer it all it is is a USB microphone that's all it is because I'm just using the mic right now here's the mic the XLR uh, three pins um, the XLRs uh, they have better audio also when you get the extension cables, that, like if you need to run them like 30 feet, they're like three or four times thicker. It's more of a professional input than a um, consumer input, I guess. So, what um, what I do is I first make sure that the mic is powered up really good. So when I'm talking, I want to talk with confidence and enough um, body in my voice. Because I want the mic to strongly hit here, um, pick me up. So let me just start looking through this viewfinder. Because um, the feature that I like is automatically reduce game sound. Now that feature is only going to work well if you have a good mic. If you get a 
cheap mic like this, that feature won't work that good. And you can play a game for half an hour and um, that feature won't, <laughs> won't even be working that well. You need a good mic, you know, a mic that can hear you, and you need to speak strongly. You don't want to like whisper, you don't have to yell, you just want to speak loudly. Alright, so then I leave uh, game audio at 12 o'clock. Now, you first you just want to turn on the mic and you can see the levels right there. Alright, so now I'm using this as my USB mic. Let's say I want to do all the mixing in the sound mixer. Okay, all, all the mixing is in here. We're not using this at all. We're just inputting the audio in here. We're not, it's not going to do the, vo the voice and whatever. So what you do is you send this split right here. Instead of going into the Elgato, which is over here. See the Elgato right here? Instead of sending this split here, you send this split into the sound mixer and then from then you output the up sound mixer into the Elgato and then that'll mix your game audio and your mic alright so it's in, it's gonna mix your voice and game audio then you can put headphones in here to check the levels like you can this is like uh, your mic levels is like two knobs from mic, mic that'll be game audio right there so you need to get it right the, um, in the mixer you can practice um, if you're not sure do a small recording and um, go back and forth until you get your levels fixed okay so um, alright so let's talk about why I have the AVR media portable so all right here is the AVR media portable now I just want to say right now because of this crazy setup there's one feature that's not working but works on when I'm just recording Xbox Nintendo Wii or PlayStation 3 doesn't make any difference for some reason this crazy setup I think it's because the Elgato is actually kind of claiming the microphone first or something um, you can record like right here is the AVR media um, mixer you know uh, game audio would be capture device and then your microphone so you know uh, maybe game audio is a too loud and there's nothing playing right here so um, okay here it's moving right here so yeah, kind of like that. All right, so you know this. I'm um, play with it right now. Um, so you can record your voice onto the video file automatically. So like you're talking, you go into the folder and you click the video, the, the the video that you recorded, the game audio and your voice is there. All right, but there is another feature right here. So which is called save as a separate mp3 so when you save the commentary as a separate mp3 uh, the benefits of that is you don't have to worry about ever getting your levels right um, it's never going to screw up or anything because it's the video file that you're recording that's uh, that's going to have the game audio and your commentary is going to be in an mp3 so all you have to do is put any, any doesn't matter what your uh, video editor, if it's Sony Vegas, Premiere, Final Cut, uh, Camtasia Studio, you can even use, you drop the MP4 in there, the MP4 file, and then you just drop the MP3. And the video and MP3 file will have the exact same name, and they're real easy. Yeah, they're all in one folder, and you just drop them in, and you, you can just put some headphones in, and in Sony Vegas, um, not in Sony, I mean your computer, and you can get the levels right in a couple of seconds. Um, and it's always, 
you always you can always fix it so it's, that's really cool um, the only downside to this is uh, recording your audio onto the mp3 I mean into into a separate mp3 file is that you're going to have to encode out with Sony Vegas or Camtasia Studio or something like that um, other encoders that uh, that are pretty fast I've heard is Adobe Premiere Campagia Studio is actually pretty fast too. Uh, Sony Vegas is a little bit on the slow side. So another thing, if if let's say um, you know you're just using the sound mixer instead of sending um, you know this audio into the Elgato first, um, you just do it all in the sound mixer, or you don't turn on automatically reduce game sound the downside of using automatically reduce game sound let's say you're playing Call of Duty and there's a cutscene with actors and you want to throw in a joke that will lower the audio in the conversation and then it's going to come back um, that can sound a little bit off if you if you somebody who likes to throw in jokes I like to get my levels right like the I like my voice level to be higher than the game audio but not high where the game audio is low so um, if you like to talk and you know throw jokes in there while there's other cutscenes or you know other things that people are saying in conversations especially um, I don't like to use automatically reduced game sound one of the problems, like I said, with automatically reduced game sound, if you don't speak uh, strongly, uh, Elgato's software won't, maybe might not detect what you're saying. So you need to talk strongly. You, you don't want to whisper like this. I'm just trying to give you an example. Or talk soft. So that's when you would want to have your levels right. Now, if you do screw up on your levels, there is a program called Leviator. I'll try to leave a link in the description box. I just Google Leviator and what it does is it analyzes the audio file and what it'll try to do is pull out all the it'll try and find all like if I'm talking it's gonna recognize me the other characters and it's gonna try and normalize all the um, different um, voices on the same level and sometimes it works out really good um, it can really do wonder sometimes if you, if your audio is like super low like all almost off off uh, it may not pull it back that much um, but it does work out pretty well um, like I said I like to have the AVR media just to have some recorded gameplay with no commentary I mean uh, so if I want to do text stories or whatever I have some video game footage to use so I'm recording a let's play but then I also recording footage I can use for other things and the reason well some people say well why don't you just use the Elgato and turn off the volume I like to have the volume some game volume because it adds to the atmosphere of the game while people watching me play it but then I like to do a text story maybe I'm doing something a text story about something else or a video game story um, I like to have a little bit of um, background, background, background noise uh, to uh, my videos so that is about it if you guys have any questions I'm not sure if I might have skipped this but this uh, Behringer 302 also comes with this USB adapter uh, so if you don't want to plug it into the computer plug it into here and uh, get um, power so that's pretty cool another thing I just want to show, show you guys for Let's Players um, I thought this would clean up my mic, like, uh, this mic had a lot of hiss in, let's see if I can, like, um, how is it, like, um, in the mic, so I try to clean it up with this black box right here, but it didn't work out that well. What it does is it cleans out the headphone jack. So if your headphone jack has hissing, and 
you just want to hear cleaner audio um, this will work really good but <coughs> that's why I, I thought it would clean up the mic that's why I got it but what people really use this for in Let's Plays is people who record uh, video game footage off of uh, PS Vita, Nintendo DS, and Nintendo 3DS. What they'll do is they'll stick this into the headphone jack of the 3DS or the Vita or whatever. And or they'll have like, another extension cable and then they'll plug this in. And this will remove the, um, the white noise. So this is pretty good. This is like about uh, 10 bucks. So anyway guys, I hope this video has helped you. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer as many questions that you may you guys may have. So once again guys, this has been mp4podcast.com. Sign out. You guys have a good one. Later guys, bye.